I lived in South LA near USC, near, across from the Allen Co. Oil Company. I was always a healthy little girl. When I was eight, I began to develop health symptoms such as nosebleeds, headaches, and stomach pains. Other children in my community were getting these problems as well, but nobody knew why. Sometimes the oil plant across the street put out terrible smells, but we didn't connect that with our symptoms. One night, the odors were so bad that my sisters, brother, mom, grandma, and great-grandma great and I all had to sleep in one bedroom with our one air purifier on. It was awful. Usually, my mom and my grandma are sitting there. In 2011, my mom and I were walking down our street, and the gates to the oil plant were open. We had never seen that before, and we were curious about what was behind the doors. A friendly man who worked there invited us in for a tour, and he showed us the facility. The picture, oh. Okay. In the first picture, you can see how they have um, signs that say poisonous gas, and the pipes are behind them. But on the outside, where we live, there's no signs at all, only on the inside where they can see them. And in the next picture, if it comes up, okay. it's me and my mom walking home with a little jar that has oil that was in the oil facility with water. He explained, the work explained to us that he had to open the gas valves every 10 to 15 minutes to release pressure and prevent an explosion. The minute he did that, I became nauseous and I had an instant headache. I was instantly terrified that he would forget to do his job or take a nap and oversleep and that my entire community would be destroyed. That day, I realized that we were sitting on a bomb. Our community realized that we are on a serious problem and we started organizing ourselves. With the support of Esperanza Community Housing, we create a group called People Naposos. Pozos means wells in English. One day, Alenco has a horrible leak, something similar like a Poro Ranch, but we are in South Los Angeles. We send more than 250 complaints to South Air Quality Management District. The inspectors came and they say, they are doing the right thing, they are working on, don't worry about the emissions, are not dangerous. Nobody pay attention to us until Los Angeles time put our story on paper and got the attention of Senator Barbara Baxter. She came to us and asked Alenco to stop production. They closed temporarily. When her inspector from US EPA came and toured the facility, they got sick on a few minutes <laughs> and they need to leave. Imagine us, we were living there 24 seven for years. We feel alone in this battle was until Liberty Hills put together a toxic tour and invite different groups of South Los Angeles dealing with the same problems, neighborhood drilling, refineries, toxic emissions. On that moment, we realized that we need to create a coalition. We need to get united and we create a stand and we start fighting together. We are capable to win this battle all together. Liberty Hill understand that our communities doesn't need charity. We need support to make the changes. I was always a shy little girl, and I never felt that I can make my own voice heard, but this experience changed me. Now I know that my words can make a difference. Now I talk to my classmates and teachers about air quality and toxic emissions, and they listen. I hope we can close this poisonous plant forever and put solar panels there instead.
Liberty Hill helped us make larger connections and become a stronger voice for change. I then realized that being shy wasn't going to cut it. I realized that I had to be loud and show people that I'm passionate about this topic and what I believe in. You can't make change without making noise. 